Hola mi gente, my name is Jenny, but you can call me Yenny because this is Spanglish con Yenny. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's been a while. It's been a while. For those of you who don't remember, I had a little series where I think I did about 13 episodes for BuzzFeed's Better Life. Whoa, that was a long time ago. But ever since then, a lot of people have asked me to bring Spanglish con Yeni back. For those who don't know, because it's, again, it's been a while, kiddos. I was one of the co-founders of Beto Like, and it's like a whole lot of history and a long journey since then, but here I am. So this little show will be covering all sorts of Miamiisms and Cubanisms, you know, ranging from Spanglish to phrases and sayings, even los cuentos and las canciones, the songs that our abuelitas would sing to us to go mimir. This is a word that my mother dearest passed on to me. <laughs> and I've been using it in my vocabulary since I was a kid. Out here in LA, no one really knows what the hell I'm talking about when I say this. And I'm met with odd stares. And that word is Paquete. 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 And I'm sure most of you are wondering, um, does the paquete mean package in Spanish? Yes. Yes, it does, my little papita frita. But a lot of Cuban Americans, particularly in South Florida, use it as a means to express that something is absolutely exaggerated and beyond the grasp of reality. Just, do I have a moco? My mom would frequently use that word when watching telenovelas and I mean, what better place to find unbelievably absurd scenarios play out. Scenarios that would never happen in real life, bro. Like when we Mario got into that terrible car accident on a cliff and then he fell into a fiery ball of caca. And then the next day he shows up at his querida's house with a little scar, a little line, así como pink, like someone took a red pen and went Ay, on his perfectly chiseled face, una, not even a curita, he put like a little bit of neosporin and he was good to go. After we saw him the night before, combust into flames. Tremendo paquete. Like honestly, they shouldn't even be called telenovelas anymore. They should just be called tremendo paquetes. I know that I gave a really dramatic example, but even like the women, they like wake up in the morning con cara full of makeup. Que paquete. That's also a que paquete moment. Que paquete. Quien se... Who wakes up like that? Like, tremendo paquete. In addition to these exaggerative beyond reality situations, paquete can also be used when it comes to just dramatic situations in general. Ah! Now, if you wanna be extra weird, next time you see something absurdly unrealistic take place, just say it in English. Wow. What a package. Tremendous package. Then it just sounds like you're talking about someone's junk. Maybe don't say that. Thank you all again for tuning in to Spanglish con Yeni. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these, so if you have any suggestions, my peeps, let me know in the comments below. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love you.